Carl, tell us uh, what you do. Well, I, uh, my company is uh, Success and Self-Esteem. It's a sales development company. And it sounds like something everybody needs. Oh, ab no, absolutely. They do. And uh, Does everybody have it? Well, to varying degrees, but most people need more of it. So your, your business is to extract that self-esteem from people. Well, I work with salespeople. So essentially okay. this, if a company is going to grow, it's going to need salespeople that are able to do four things consistently and effectively. You know, find new opportunities, ask tough questions, uh, qualify those opportunities, and help prospects make a decision to either move on or move forward. The problem is that most salespeople don't do those competencies consistently or effectively. So there's a lot of reasons for that. It could be that they're hiring the wrong people. Uh, it could be that the salespeople need better skills, but oftentimes is they might have some skills, but they really can't execute them. They know what to do, but not comfortable doing it, and that becomes an issue of self-esteem. Uh, and also, they may not be held accountable by their, their ownership, and uh, that's an error. So I kind of go in there and fix, try to identify where those problems are. When I, uh, when I decided I was going to teach philosophy because I believe that ideas matter, but I finally concluded that there was more intellectual honesty in a redneck bar in Alabama than at most philosophy department lounges, real world. <laughs> so I decided not to teach philosophy what to do. So at the time, I worked with, um, I was working in the central station at ADT. That's where alarms are monitored. And right next door, there was a sales office. And every once in a while, the sales guys would come in, and they were treated like very important people. Now, I didn't know if I liked selling, but I, I liked to be treated like a very important person. So I applied for the sales job, and I got it. Ten of us were trained in 1979 for four months, and we went out to sell and succeed. A year later, of the ten people that started, only two were left standing. Seven either quit or been fired, and the one guy was sent back to customer service. Now, here was the problem. Ten people wanted to succeed, ten people had some of the best sales training, and ten people were enthusiastic about their success. You know, one guy was only two were left standing, and I was a guy sent back to customer service. So if I had to, uh, if my career of selling was going to last longer than one year, I had to figure out what the problem was. And the answer I came up with at that time was that what I and my seven counterparts lacked was essentially we lacked the uh, capacity with risk, challenge, and certainty. Because I saw that psychologically determining how high and how often you call, what questions you feel comfortable asking, and really how long you're going to keep selling and risking when you have the uh, no's, negatives, and disappointments. So that prompted me to figure that out and go forward. The book was a culmination of uh, kind of uh, my understanding of all that, uh, and it's a key element in helping salespeople become successful. So the book kind of puts together what you need to do concretely, practically, to grow your self-esteem in the context of selling. What are the biggest challenges you find? I mean, are there any stories you can tell us about you know, people you've been able to put on the right path or the, the right track, uh, you know, to, to get people from being uh, some kind of administrative person to, you know, a super salesman? Uh, well, those sort of miracles don't happen that often. No, okay. okay. But what you can, you can do. So uh, I work with a guy up in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, we'll mention the agency up there. And he had he been in the business about five years. They wanted to let him go but they thought they'd give him a last chance because he's a good good employee, good with people. And so what I did working with him is, you know, we, we had him evaluated and we, uh, we saw some of his weaknesses. And then what I do with people when I work with them is that I hold them accountable for behaviors. Uh, this all starts there. They